the desires are actually infinite or unlimited because you, you can just keep creating new desires and the desires can be fulfilled should be fulfilled and the rationality be behind it is that it is rational to dedicate the self society and state for this purpose the purpose of creating an individuality which whose dominant purpose is to fulfill their desire to create a society in which such a in, an individuality can prosper and a state which provides justification legitimation and support for the fulfillment and flourish flourishing of such a lifestyle or such a life world and such a society it is rational and it is irrational to suppress limit your desires and to limit your choice because the practical the practical um, implication of this search is to increase the ambit or axis of choice increase the area in which you can fulfill your choice in the sense that you can choose whatever you want and you are able to actually uh, fulfill that choice or to uh, you know practice that the choice or you, ch you choose something so the area in which you can choose or your choice can become reality you are increasing that area and the choices themselves are increasing as well and you are yourself is dedicated to that and your society is dedicated to that and your state is dedicated to that that is all rational and it is irrational to try to limit any of these pursuits and basically choices are arbitrary in the sense that there's no intrinsic limits on choices uh, the limits on choices are only of two types or three types factual limits now factual limits are the resource limits and So that's the limit and other factual limit is the fact that you know you choose something that is contingent as well uh, and the only moral limit i guess is that you don't interfere in a similar choice or similar similar right of another individual and it is also i guess it is also rational to, to try to expand choices so that's uh, something intrinsically good etc okay so i think that's what capitalism is um, so capitalism is a system to dedicate itself for accumulation for the sake of accumulation it is built on the idea of scarcity is built on the idea of overcoming scarcity this is built on the idea of fulfilling your desires multiplying them increasing your choices because that's something good in itself and there are no intrinsic limits on your desire except the actual limits of scarcity which you are dedicated to overcoming and any other actual intrinsic limit your you, you you can legitimately have on your choices if it contradicts or interferes with the similar choice of another person. So we are dedicated to creating a society in which more and more people can choose more and more and fulfill their choices more and more. So that's the ethically superior society, ethically uh, good society. And 
mechanism to do that is, you know, capitalism in the sense of an economic system with all its, uh, you know, social and moral and state level institutions and all that. So I, I think that's the, what capitalism is. So we'll stop here and continue from here, inshallah. Probably it will take four or five uh, sessions to, you know, completely answer the question or the questions with which we started. Okay.